Okay, I am standing out in front of the house. It's a little later than I usually like to do, be doing this. My car door is open. Got some monsoonal clouds going around here. And here's the house. So that room is the spare casita room has its own bathroom, own closet. Got the garage. Garage doors openers are on. The garage doors on. And so here you've got. You can see the brick accents along with the stucco. This side has the HVAC unit. So this is the room that has its own entrance so we come up here and walking up to the here's the entrance to the spare bedroom the guest room the casita and here we go into the house it's getting a little dark so we come over this way got your living area and the kitchen is here and the refrigerator goes here got all the cabinets in doors are on this one is really almost done got the shelving shelving in the pantry we have microwave stove countertop uh, top out on the plumbing isn't in yet, dishwasher, but the thing about this house is this. So I'm just going to zoom in to what it looks like. It actually looks just about like that. So you've got Navajo Mountain, straight cliffs formation, and then you've got all along here. And the neighbors have started putting a fence up, but they are leaving. Property line goes back to around that white fence, down to the wood fence, and then back a ways. I think it's all marked out there. So this is bedroom number one. This one has two windows out this side. A big window out this side and then you've got these kind of cool door hangers here I really like those and it's a big closet oh we have light let there be light and then we've got the bathroom so we've got the master here so all three of them are masters, so this one has the Jack and Jill sinks. And windows up here, and this has the non-tub, has kind of the oversized shower pan in this bathroom. And then once again, here's the closet. So nice bedroom, um, ceiling fan, tasty. So that's bedroom number one. Coming back out. You've got the laundry room here. So washer dryer, and then this goes into the garage. That man door goes out. And the water heater will be here. So here's the, once again, washer and dryer. Looks like we got some visitors in the form of a very white, large white dog just visited. So here's the front again in my car. Here's the second master. So you've got the light. This one has a separate closet from the bath. So same roller, got nice big walk-in closet here and then coming around this way this one also has jack and jill sinks this one has the tub shower combo 
lighting fixtures are in. Got those going. I am trying to get out of here before it gets any darker. So closet, these things are pretty cool. They, they really look cool in the sunlight during the day. So this is the casita. So it has its own separate door and a couple of big windows out this way. Nice clouds out there tonight. So you've got the bedroom. This is the closet area and it's big. So there's that, and then you've got a window in the closet. And the door opens to the inside, as it does on this side for the bathroom. So this one's a little smaller. It has only the single sink. And then it's got the surround, or the tile and the tub here and then the toilet goes here. So the way this was laid out is that this door and this door can be locked off from the house. So if you come in this door and you're renting it, there's enough room on that wall for a queen size bed. There's plenty enough room in the closet for a luggage rack and there's room and plugs up here for like a coffee bar, maybe a small microwave or whatever that you wanted to do there. The last one I saw has a little coffee bar on it. And this door actually has a lock. You could put a deadbolt on it as well. But this is the lockout casita. So anyway, here you go. Um, I haven't, I didn't know. So let me turn on some lights. Got the recessed can lighting. Got the ceiling fan in the middle. And then back over here. To the kitchen so there you have it I guess we can take a quick look out here so small patio area could be enlarged at any time but the view back here is just something kind of rotating around and right behind that rock is Amangiri, so that's the world's most expensive resort right back there.